So if I can show you something super simple that you could do every single day to build not just stronger glutes, but better looking ones, and also we could correct a lot of dysfunction from the inside out that leads to a lot of hip and low back pain, would you be interested? You bet your ass I would. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, athletenext.com. So I wanna help you with your glutes today because I know how important it is to develop them, not just for how they look, but how they function. And what I'm gonna talk about here is actually not the glute max, because this is the muscle that you might be focusing on or you might have paid a lot of attention to. And for good reason, because when it's developed, it, it, it has a certain look, let's just put it that way. But I'm talking about the muscle underneath. It's the glute medius. It's the one that doesn't really get lumped in too much when we talk about the glutes. And if you're doing that, you're making a big mistake. So what I'm gonna show you is just four simple moves. You're only gonna have to do two of them. Either two on the ground or two here in standing that everyone's gonna be able to do no matter what your ability level is and you're not gonna need any equipment at all to do them. So that being said, let's meet me on the ground. I'll show you exactly what to do. So as I said, the glute medius is where we're gonna put all of our focus because if you're lunging, squatting, deadlifting, or leg pressing right now, you're hitting your glute max. I promise you, you are. But what you're missing is the frontal plane abduction that we get from the glute medius and the rotary component that we get from the glute medius that we just don't get from the glute max or as well as we get from the glute medius. So what we do is we get down here on the floor, right? And all I'm gonna have you do is get on your side like this. These are really simple. And again, you could do these every single day. You get down here, and the first thing we do is we realize that when the leg is in front of the body, here, that we want to have internal rotation if we want to get the glute medius. So that means take your toe and try to stab it into the ground, okay? Get it about 30 or so degrees in front of your body and try to point your toe straight down into the ground. From here, all you're doing is keeping a nice stable upper body, and you're going to lift your leg up as high as you can into abduction at the hip, all right? And you should feel it light up right here in this area of your leg. That's when you know you're getting the glute medius. Okay, and all I'm gonna do is come up and create every single contraction as a very purposeful, meaningful one. I don't care, I'm not looking for this. It's not a race. I'm looking for good quality contractions, as many as you can until you can't stand the burn anymore. And if you've ever heard the term, you're gonna light your ass up, this is actually where it started, right here. So you do that. Now, once you're done with that, we gotta get the, the backside here a different angle. And that's when we put our hip into extension behind the body. When it's back here, now what we want is external rotation at the hip. So instead of pointing the toe down, we point it up towards the ceiling. But because I'm falling this way when that happens, if I were to lift my leg up, I'd probably get more hip flexor instead of the abduction that I'm looking for. So what I want you to do is just lay a little bit more like this, okay? Lay flatter to the ground. Leg goes back behind midline of the body here turn the toe up, and now lift up, oh my God, right up to the sky. See, I can't do a lot of these, and neither will you, but it doesn't matter, it's the good quality contractions that count. So we do as many as we can, once a day is fine for me. You're gonna accumulate better activation of these muscles just by doing these routinely and regularly, and that's gonna pay big dividends in the long run. I'm gonna show you now what you could do in standing as an alternative if you didn't wanna do these laying down. All right, so let's say you're at work and you don't want to lay on the floor to do your exercises. It doesn't give you a reason to get out of doing them for the day. Again, you could do these really, really simply. So the standing version is an alternative. I will tell you this, the standing version is actually maybe a slightly better alternative because anytime you can get in a weight-bearing situation, in a closed chain, feet on the ground situation, I like the activation better that you get through the muscles of the hip and low back and glutes by doing it this way. So what we do is we try to create the same idea as what we had down there on the ground, but the benefit is we get two legs working at once. So we get in this position, and I square off in front of the bar, and all I'm gonna do is take my leg, keep it in front of my body, if this is midline right here, keep it in front of my body, turn the toe in. And then what I'm gonna do is gonna bring it out to the side into that abduction again, like a leg swing. But what happens is, as I swing this up, this hip on this side comes over. So I let it drop, and then I let it come over. I let it drop, and I let it come over. So what you see is a leg coming towards you, but I've dropped the hip out, and now I swing it in front and over. Out and over. So this leg staying in front, toes pointing down as much as I can. And what it does is, it works this side through that flexion, abduction, internal rotation, and it works this side through that sliding hip over. You'll feel it both ways. Now, I wanna hit that back side too where we bring our leg back behind the body. In this case, we angle towards this wall here at about 45 degrees. Then what I do is I'm gonna take the leg from right about, right behind my heel. 
I'm turning it out to the side here so my toes pointed out this time instead of pointing in. I'm still going to try to create this. But what I do is I turn my body towards the wall or the post or whatever you're holding on to. So I, I'm getting rotation through here. I come out, I rotate, and I'm kicking my leg up. Just like that. Rotate, kick it up towards the ceiling. As long as this leg stays back behind this midline here, then I've got it in the same position as it was on the ground. Turn and kick up. And again, quality repetitions. I feel this hip squeezing. I feel this hip squeezing. Both glute medius working together. So that rotation, just to open it all up. Either way, guys, maybe you'll have a hard time initially feeling these muscles contract because the mind muscle connection is so dormant because you haven't done anything for a long period of time. In that case, I like the ones laying down on the ground because you get that instant connection. Once you've got that though, transition to standing for that extra benefit. So there you have it guys, two exercises, your choice which ones you pick. They're going to help you to build that all important and overlooked glute medius to get you on the right track. If you're looking for programs guys, whoa, we whoa, have a whole bunch. Whoa, 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 holy smokes Jeff, that really lit my ass up. I feel like I'm on fire. That's because you actually are, Jesse. Oh, 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 oh! Stop, drop, and roll, buddy. It works every time, I promise. Speaking of working, guys, if you're looking for programs that work, we have them all laid out for you step by step over at FNX.com. If you haven't already done so, guys, make sure you click subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a new video. And as always, guys, leave your comments below. Tell me what you want to see in a future video. I'll do my best to bring it to you. All right, guys, see you soon.